the um, hypothetical tour here, and I got some questions. It's Maybe short. It's short. Tour. Look at it. Yeah. Okay. Go I ahead. print big, Bruce. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is entitled What If. I spent a lot of time thinking about that. Mr. Jones, 55, buys a condo outright. He's got that $400,000. He's a confirmed bachelor. Two years later, he marries Miss Smith. He's only 30. He's still within the association rules, correct? Correct. After one year of wedded bliss, the new Mrs. Jones tells Mr. Jones, I haven't said anything yet. Dear, we are having twins. Mr. Jones grabs his chest, takes one last breath. And when you're up in the tree, you got a lot of time to think. The air isn't quite, not so much oxygen up there. And makes his young bride a mother and a widow at the same time. One of the questions, does the widow Jones have to go to the senior center and pick a husband behind door one, two, or three? <laughs> he didn't have to answer that. What if, she, what if she decides that this older idea is not going to work and remarries a 30-year-old? Now there is no compliancy at all with the association rules. Will the association willingly pay $18,000 a year starting in five years for the twins for 12 years? What enforcement mechanism will the condo association, I've heard it's in the host community agreement, it's in the bylaw, et cetera, et cetera, employ to ferret out violators? Are they going to depend on neighbors to drop a dime on any violators or, or, or any of these 55 rules? Lots of questions could all be avoided. Unfortunately, I can't go along with this. By defeating this article, an ounce of prevention really is a pound of cure. Thank you. Uh to, uh, let's, let's hear, is there a, an answer to what the condo association would have to do? I'm Mr. surprised you didn't say triplets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's very simple. When you buy a condominium, someone mentioned, gee, what about the trash? Well, take trash as an example. It's in the condominium documents. It's your hunt. The condo association takes care of trash, so you, you know certain things going in. You're signing a contract. You have a deed that has certain specifications. When it says you cannot have children, and oh, by the way, you end up having children, well, you have a couple of options. You can move. You can make other arrangements. You may have to use a private school. I don't know what the case is, but understand that you'd be in violation of an agreement you made if you have children living with you using the school system. 